But we're going to turn now to what's being called biblical flooding across Colorado. Residents said they've never seen anything like it. The image is just shocking. Homes up to their roofs with water. Rescuers using canoes to get people to safety as rivers rage with roads ripped out. And there's no end to this misery in sight. ABC News meteorologist Ginger Z is right in the middle of it in Boulder. Good morning, Ginger. <laughs> Hey, good morning. I'm standing at the bank of Boulder Creek, but as you can hear and see still the last couple days been called Boulder Rapids. And let me show you something. There's some good news. This bench as of 24 hours ago was underwater now just caked in mud. And this is what happens when you get a foot or 13 inches of rain. Look at these numbers, incredible rainfall totals. And the bad news is that after the nine plus inches in place like Colorado Springs, there's more to come. This whole deal, it's not over. Stranded and submerged. The Colorado landscape washing away as rescuers race to those trapped by rising waters. It's like the ocean out here. Dozens of homes, entire neighborhoods up to their roofs in that murky runoff. Within one hour, it completely surrounded the entire house and we had current. Some caught riding it out. Others plowing through the historic floods in pickup trucks. In Weld County, farms isolated on islands. Never ever has this water been this high. I've got three horses. I hope they're alive. We had to get out so quick. And look at those abandoned mobile homes, congested, toppled by the devastating waters. In Estes Park, this dramatic video of a woman desperately holding on as rescue workers zip line her to safety. And from inside this fire truck, the floodwaters bubbling over the windshield. Thousands evacuated from their homes, four dead and more than 180 now unaccounted for. President Obama declaring a state of emergency Friday. And it's not just Colorado. Parts of New Mexico are getting up to four inches of rain an hour at times. At least 25 homes evacuated. Countless roads impassable. The remorseless waters devouring highways. Homes crumbling in the force. A full weekend forecast of more rain. And we have brand new information this morning. Let me take you to a different river, the South Platte. Remember seeing all those pictures of the farmland, the horses? Well, that was in places like Greeley, Evans, and this river gauge that I'm going to show you now has surged to 19 plus feet. They're old. Historic record was around 11. So you know how bad it still is this morning north of Denver. Let's look then at what's to come. I wish I had better news, but when you take the foot plus of rain that already fell, these raging rapids behind me, and you add another one to two inches that's coming in tonight, that front kind of backing in, the monsoonal moisture butting up right against it, this is not a good situation, and it is not over. The danger is still in place here. People have to be on alert. We'll be coming back with our nation's weather and the tropics firing up. Another area in Texas going to get a lot of rain this weekend. But more to come in Colorado, as you say, it is not over. Still a dangerous situation, and Ginger will be coming back to you. Meanwhile, we are hearing extraordinary stories of survival and rescue this morning in Colorado. The National Guard is on the scene. They're using choppers to fly people out of towns that have essentially been cut off from the rest of the world. We're also hearing from a man who got trapped after his car was flipped over by a wall of water. Mm -hmm. His rescue, as you can see right here, caught on camera. And ABC's Clayton Sandell is also in the flood zone this morning. Unimaginable loss. We lost our home. It's all gone. Thousands of Colorado residents forced from their homes. The National Guard airlifting nearly 300 out of the stranded community of Jamestown. Oh my God! <laughs> reuniting them with loved ones still shaken by all they've seen. Nobody could ever imagine anything like this. The the devastation over there is immense. It's like everything you know and love, you just see it get swept away in a matter of hours. One friend dead and no idea of, you know, when we can go back and what will be left when we get back. We were there the moment troops brought residents from another devastated town to safety. The neighbor's house fell off into what was a little creek, is now a raging river, fell off and just got swept away. It's gone. Gone. There's no other word but catastrophic. I've never ever seen anything like this. The word on many minds, survival, something Roy Ortiz knows all too well. This is the underside of Ortiz Pontiac Grand Prix, flung into the rapids Thursday while on his way to work. Flash floods tearing away the road beneath him. For two hours, the father of four was trapped and quickly sinking. I had to 
pray because it's, I want to survive. One of the first to arrive, firefighter John Cook. We kind of pounded on the bottom of the car. And the rescue people look at me, and I just uh, take my hand to they know I'm, I'm alive. Ortiz was caught in a driver's worst nightmare, one where the road suddenly becomes a river. As Cook and his team worked to save him, Ortiz tried to calm himself by thinking of his family, only a small pocket of air helping to keep him alive. I'm feeling good, thanks to, to God and my family. For Good Morning America, Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Boulder, Colorado. He is one of the lucky ones, as Ginger reminds us, that nearly 200 are still unaccounted for. All right, our thanks to Clayton for that.